I've been told that this is the place you come for wildlife viewing. Is that true? I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I've been told by a good friend of mine that you're involved in woodworking and uh, you like to do woodworking pieces with fish and wildlife. True. Your fascination with wildlife, uh, have you been an outdoors person all your life? Yep. Yeah. Used to bow hunt for deer all the time. Yeah. And groundhogs. Yeah. Don't shoot groundhogs. And I'm assuming you like to fish. Oh, yeah. I see that smallmouth. You must have witnessed a few smallmouth bass in your day to realize this thing looks spot on. Quite, quite a few of them in Green River. Yeah. Show me an example of, what, of some of this different stuff we've got here. So this is obviously a white-tailed deer. This is called segmentation, and it's all cut out in little, little bitty pieces. You raise and lower the pieces to get depth in it, and then whenever you get back away from it, it's like an oil painting or something, and it all blends in together. You can see the depth right here where you got the two legs right. and the roundness. You get that roundness on yep. it. That's really cool. So this is segmentation. That's segmentation. All right, and then you've got another style here. What kind of artwork is this? Now this is uh, intarsia. Intarsia, okay. And I try to put all the details I can in, in, in any, any of my stuff. I cut all the hair and everything on, on all of it. Mm. The last thing I ever do to a deer or anything I do is get eyes. I do their eyes last. Mm. That uh, puts life in them. They come to life and put eyes on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's true. The one that really caught my attention was this smallmouth. Tell me what this is. This is fretwork, and you, you put your pattern on, and you drill holes for all these places that's cut out. You go to the saw, and you saw all of those pieces out. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I'm very interested in seeing how you do this. I'd love to see you go through this process. All right, so show me how you're gonna do now, this. What now. I do is I take and put tape on them like this. And that's just regular old masking tape, huh? Regular masking tape. Then I take this here, I use 3M77, and I spray the pattern on the back. And then I position them on the thing like I want it. Wow. And then I drill holes in this, in each one of these places, I drill holes. So every spot that you're gonna remove. It's got a hole in it. It's gotta have a hole in it. Yep. The reason I like doing this is, uh, this is a dying art. Oh, yeah. Now you, you get a computer and you punch in something, the machine cuts it out. Yeah. That's, not, that's not woodwork. Yeah, no. So you went through and put dozens of holes, and this is not even, not even finished. This probably have about 100 holes in it when you're all finished, right? Yeah. And the reason you put these holes in here is that you have to have a way to get a saw blade in, right? Right. This is a scroll saw. A scroll saw. Look how little that blade is. You said you even used smaller ones than that? Oh, yeah. Put the blade through, push it in there, and tighten it up down here. It's ready to go, huh? Ready to go. Pops it right out of there, didn't it? Yep. So yep. that and that's how well, the process works. You keep going until you uh, until you've got them all removed. Get, got them all out. There's no burning. There's no nothing. No. It's just all sawing out. All and sawing. then you've come through here and you've you've made this a, a little darker color and you've lightened this up and the fish is actually a different color too, right? Yep. Well, I appreciate you letting us come in here and slowing you down a little bit today. I can tell that <laughs> you probably you probably had two or three of these done, but I, I tell you, it's a, it really is cool how you get the depth when you kind of move this thing and how you can see how, how deep these cuts that you put in. Well, if you look at that, 
you instantly know it's smallmouth. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. I don't care if you've not caught many fish in your life, you can see that and go, that's a smallmouth. That is really, really cool.